In this video we share Our Lady's message to Valeria Copani for July 6, 2022. My daughter, so dear to my sorrowful heart, continue to pray and offer all your sufferings for the salvation of so many of your brothers who are unable to get close to their Creator. Too many children are far from our teachings, the sacraments are no longer known and even less respected, unfortunately young people no longer have good examples starting with the family. My daughter, pray that so many parents resume prayers together with their children for their salvation and that of their loved ones. The spiritual part of my children, mostly of them, no longer exists. They realize that earthly happiness is not enough but they find no other path that leads them to true joy, you tell me how can you find love by ignoring the one who gave his life for your salvation. The earthly world cannot give you true joy but I tell you that if you begin to pray to your Savior with the heart above all within the family, Jesus will reward you by making you savor his full joy, even facing the many difficulties on your path that you will still encounter for a long time. Entrust all young people to me, so that they may believe that they will find full joy only when they let the pierced heart of Jesus enter their hearts. See how your times are getting shorter, wake up from dreams and face reality with God's help otherwise you will lose what matters most, eternal joy. I bless you and I press you to my motherly and immaculate heart, be true children of God, showing him true love. Valeria Copani's story of receiving locutions from heaven started when she was in Lourdes accompanying her military husband on pilgrimage. There she heard a voice that she identified as her guardian angel, telling her to get up. He then presented her to Our Lady, who said, You will be my cynical, a term she only understood years later when a priest used it in the context of the prayer group she started in home city of Rome, Italy. It was Father Gabriele Amorth who encouraged Valeria to diffuse her messages outside the prayer cenacle. The attitude of the clergy is predictably mixed, some priests are skeptical, while others participate fully in the cenacle. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.